Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute. I am sorry, it is cold in Wyoming. It is winter time, we got a lot of snow, but I wanted to give you some updates and talk to you about this character right here, the General Lee. My last video got taken down when I was trying to explain to you guys what the car was. This is a first season General Lee. Now, through the first and the fourth seasons of Dukes of Hazard, they used cars that were fairly similar to this one, but, there are a few things about the first season of Dukes of Hazzard that they did not duplicate in the other shows, and especially when they moved to California, they changed the car quite a bit, including the 01 and the lettering of the General Lee. Those uh, actually changed quite a bit. And so I wanted to go over a few of those things with you guys and then go over some future plans. Let's get started. First season of Dukes of Hazzard, the car was a color, it was a Corvette Flame Red, and this car is in fact Corvette Flame Red. We did it that color because that is the color code 70 that they would order from the body shop. And that's what color this is. Now the car is really dusty and stuff from sitting in the garage. I will get that cleaned up. I do have the antenna. It's over here on top of my deep freeze. I took it off because I was doing some stuff in the trunk. But number one, first season General Lee's had this. If you watch the episodes, you'll see where a little kid is sitting in the back seat and he is spitting flies. And you'll notice this. This did not carry on. They said it was too hard to duplicate when they were mass producing these cars for the television show. And um, so those did not carry on past, I believe, the first season. So those were uh, very indicative of that. Another thing is, is this molding right here. Some of the generalies had it, some of them didn't. For the most part, a lot of them did, but that is a vinyl top trim that actually was on the first season cars. And my car was a vinyl top originally, and it had it, so we put them back on. The other thing was this right here. If you look, <clears throat> the blue in the lettering of General Lee is a lot darker. It's not the same as in the flag, but it's pretty close when I wipe all the dust off. The General Lees, when they went to California, this went to a much lighter color, and even the size and shape of the General Lee changed as soon as they went to the California episodes. I don't mind the California cars, I really don't. I think the California cars were really cool. But the first season is the one that wrote me in and made me a Dukes fan for life. And that is why we decided to go the direction we did with this car. So this check this out. Push bar. This one was made by Smith Brothers Restoration. I can't really see that good because I'm in my garage. But you can see that it doesn't quite go to the headlight bucket. And the California ones came all the way out to the headlight bucket. The smaller push bars I think were much better looking on the cars. They fit the car a little bit better. These were made by Smith Brothers Restorations. They had the Lost General Lees, and they actually brought these uh, push bars back onto the market, but they were made after the original designs of the ones from the TV show. So this one actually fits the bumper really well. And yeah, Smith Brothers Restoration did an incredible job. They send them to you in bare metal. We had to have this one powder coated, but looks pretty good on the car. That is another first season you know, detail that a lot of people miss or a lot of people didn't know actually happened. The 01 on the door. Now this is a big one because it changed very much so throughout the years of the Dukes of Hazard. This 01 is called the Bold Appearance 01 that was on the first season cars. Now, when they went to California, they got a little narrower. Some of them were more forward. Some of them were more back. They were rushing to build these cars. So the centering that we have right here <clears throat> is actual measurements off of one of the real General Lees from the TV show. And the O1s changed again when they did the reunion movie. And if you actually watch the Dukes reunion, or Dukes go to Hollywood is what I believe it was, you'll actually notice that the rear balance of the car was still orange and are in one scene because they... Uh, uh, John Schneider corrected that. He said it looked weird. They spray painted it, got that done. And then the 01, if you watch the Dukes go to Hollywood, it was one of their reunion movies. The 01 is way too small. They built the whole car based off of a toy car. And so they got the measurements wrong because Warner Brothers at the time, I guess, didn't have any of the original General Lees or just didn't take the time to look at one of the originals that they had. But the 01 was very much so wrong in that so movie. So where we're at with it right now is we've got the engine and transmission in. We're doing the driveline. I have some drivelines down here on the floor that we're getting put together so we can get it in there. The engine is a 440 Magnum. Transmission is the 727 automatic. Um, I had a 426 Hemi. 
I sold the Hemi to fund the General Lee. Uh, it only made sense. Most of the General Lees did not have Hemis unless you're talking about the movie with Johnny Knoxville. Uh, but General Lees usually tended to have 383s. Some of them had 440s. Most of the jump cars I found out from Kibby and friends were small block cars. They were much lighter. They were uh, not as front heavy. And they didn't have to put as much cement or weights or anything in the trunk for when they jumped the cars over the cricks. This car would basically be uh, like a, a close-up type of car or just like stunt driving type of car, but they wouldn't have really jumped these ones because of the big blocks, uh, which was an interesting factoid. Listen to Kibby and Friends. They have a lot of great stuff. It's a podcast. It's called Kibby and Friends. How it sounds is how it's spelled. Uh, they had a lot of great information, including the color, which is the Corvette Flame Red. Um, there was a guy on here that was talking about, Travis Bell was his name, was talking about the General Lee's color, um, and he kind of missed the mark on that. But they talk about that on Kibbe and Friends. But as an auto body guy, if you know anything, they would spray the orange right over top of the original color. That affects the outcome of the color. Now, this car was painted over top of a light gray primer, so this is pretty close to the true color. Um, if I had a blue car or a black car or a purple car or a yellow car and I laid orange right over top of it, those colors pull through the paint. The car that he's referring to when they did the paint match and they did the scan of the trunk lid, that car was originally like a gold color, like a copper and that color will pull through the orange and it will tell you the wrong numbers. So they would order code 70. Code 70 was a GM color, Corvette Flame Red. So where are we at? Uh, we've got the carpet coming. We've got the headliner. I have all the glass. I have the gaskets just taped in the front right now so that I can get the front windshield in. But I have to get the headliner in first. Um, we're spray dyeing some of the panels because I had a near mint black interior, but we want it to be the tan that the General Lee was. Um, the 440 is rebuilt, it's in the car. I just have to do a few different things, obviously get the carburetor put on, get the exhaust manifolds, the uh, radiator, etc. We have a brand new painless wiring harness that's gonna go into this car as well. Painless has good products. These, these products are amazing. Uh, I pulled it out, looked at it. It is just, it's gonna be easy. It's listed every inch or so on the wire, headlight, 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 tail light, tail light, tail light, gas tank, gas tank, gas tank. So it tells you where the wires go, where they're supposed to be, and it comes with a really nice fuse block. Um, the Mopars had like a bulkhead one that came through the firewall and they were just not super great. I'm gonna have to fill that hole in the firewall. I'll probably just put a plate over it. I don't wanna modify the car so that it can't go back to original. Um, but that's where we are with the General Lee. I want to get this one going on because we did buy the Roscoe police car and I do want to do the Roscoe police car correct. Um, it is the single headlight car. Uh, my car is a 1975 Plymouth Fury, I think. Maybe, maybe it's a Dodge, no, it's not a Dodge Monaco. Hmm. I'll have to relook. But anyways, it's not exactly what Roscoe's car was, but they used a lot of different cars. You do see the single round headlight cars sometimes, mostly on Sheriff Little's car. Um, but if you're actually watching, uh, some of the, the uh, Roscoe cars were that way because they went through so many of them, as opposed to one or two General Lees per episode, they would go through like four or five cop cars per episode. So really it was just what's available, what can we get out? So when we start on the cop car, we're gonna do that as accurately as possible. The most expensive thing on that one is going to be the light bar. Um, I haven't found one of those yet, but we will get to that point. And that one's gonna need the tan interior treatment. That one's going to need uh, brand new paint. I'm gonna have some body work to do on that. We found the decals. The decals are amazing and they're cheap. They're actually a lot cheaper than the General Lee decals. Uh, but stay with us, stay tuned. I'm going to have a whole lot more stuff and let's just make some cool stuff. You can also follow me on TikTok. Uh, I have a TikTok channel and um, it's I, th I believe it's at Johnny's Garage as well. But we have a ton more like little snidbits of the generally as time goes on. Uh, fun, creative stuff with some music and things like that that makes it kind of fun. And we know and love the generally. You don't see a lot of my face because my TikTok is not about me. It is about the man himself, the General Lee. Guys, thanks for staying with me. Um, I'm gonna have a whole lot more stuff here coming up pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna try to be more regular with this. I'm gonna try to post again this week, uh, just showing you some of the stuff that we're doing. But guys, thank you, I love you, God bless you, and we'll be back with more stuff.